How do you use them? This one's easy because this one shows like whether it's coin, silver, just junk. What are you trying to detect? I'm trying to see. Yep. This junk metal. Stud. <laughs> Demery had a good point. We're gonna throw, cause I have the iPhone 13. So we're gonna throw it in a baggie, go toss it in the snow, and see if one of these out of the three will find an iPhone 13. Cause if not, then we're wasting our time going up the mountain to find my phone. <laughs> nope, not finding no stud, man. <laughs> Is there metal and concrete? Yeah, the bar. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is my contraption of bagging it up. It doesn't quite fit. And I'll go hide it. So you we're don't not know hiding because we're not going to go look through the whole field. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a general area. Just well, well, all we have to see if he'll detect it. Fine. I'm just going to make it fun. Well, you could throw it clear over here and we'll be over here. I won't throw it. I'll go set it down and like kind of squeeze some snow over it. It has to be kind of a lot of snow. I can make a lot of snow on it. <laughs> See your phone. <laughs> Let's go. You don't know there's an iPhone there. We don't know that. <laughs> it works. Let's see. What? Oh, mine's making noise everywhere. <laughs> Get where your iPhone's at? Yeah. Guess what? It works. So the metal detectors work. Well, one of them. No, both of them work. One works, the other one works when it wants to work, it looks like, it seems like. So today, you guys might be wondering why the heck we have metal detectors. Well, when we went up to recover Owen's blazer, I lost my cell phone. And normally I wouldn't care, but my cell phone has a lot of footage on it and it didn't upload to iCloud, so I have to try and find it. But we've got <laughs> me, Hillbilly, and Colton going today. Robbie is off playing and he decided to leave us here. So we decided to go have fun on top of the mountain and try and find my phone. Grandpa was so nice and he let us take his metal detector and Colton had a metal detector too. So now we're heading up to go find my phone. Hopefully we find it. But the only thing I am worried about is we got like a good like six to 12 inches of snow down here. And that means that the mountain's got even more. So we'll see. First place. Ventures first stop. Map. Map. <laughs> How much do you think it's gonna take? I do board. not know the trekker at all. I'm thinking about it's gonna take 5.6 gallons. I'm gonna say about seven gallons because it's about a quarter of a tank. 5.6. Seven. Hi. Um, can you send me Matt's number? Matt? Yeah. Oh, yes. Just okay. Yeah, yeah, we may need that. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. So, Robbie, since he's up on the mountain, um, I need backup in case we get stuck because there's no one to save us. Couldn't we just wrap a, har uh, a halter and everything around Eeyore and have him pull us out? Yeah, be a great idea. But just in case, I got Matt's number. Yeah, I still like the idea of Matt's number. <laughs> he says he's gonna get a run at it. We're trying. <laughs> This is already looking really promising. <laughs> Hillbilly, I feel like we need to find this phone because all the things that they've done for us, I feel like it's going to be accomplished if we can find this phone Yeah, for them, for Denry and Robbie. I have no doubts that we'll find it. We got this. Time to throw some chains before we head up the mountain. Cause I don't want to make it up, to, uh, get going and where it's a lot deeper and have to put them on in deep snow when it's nice, flat, level, maybe an inch of snow. There's way more than an inch. Way less than what's up there. Yeah. Let me tell you guys the worst part of all of this. So when we were up there, my phone was still getting text messages, still getting calls, but for some reason the location is off and it's on silent. So we can't hear it. 
Hopefully we can find it. That's why we're taking metal detectors. So moral of the story, never have your phone on silent. And have your location on. There's one chain. Okay, I know you guys give me a lot of crap because I've unlocked the hubs a couple times, but it's spur of the moment. Twist. Arrow to the arrow. Locked. We're going. What are you doing? Looking at the deer tracks. Seeing if they were deer or what they were. Or if they were kitty cat and not wallaby style kitty cat either. Mountain lion or a cougar, which is same, bobcat. And I saw a TikTok <laughs> and I've been afraid of mountain lions, bobcats, ever since I saw that TikTok. I ain't scared. They attacked the guy. I ain't Bye. scared. Light enough that I don't have to hold the, uh, turn the steering wheel for the turns. The ruts take us right around it. So here's the first and the last spot that we can remember. Demery had her phone is uh, where Robbie put the chains on. What was that? The trekker backfired. When Robbie, uh, we put the rear chains on King Fred. So, and she was filling with it here. So we're going to get out, grab our metal detectors and just check around in this area before we keep going up. I'm excited. But I'm pretty sure I had it when we went up this hill. I actually want to see if I even have service. We have service right here. What's back there? I hit the, the truck. <laughs> <laughs> On the truck. I'm scared that this is gonna throw us off. <laughs> Maybe what? Like it's wrong. What's right there? It says it's about six inches. A coin. No. -uh. A real coin. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what it's saying on the screen. Oh. Ooh. That one's gold. <laughs> <laughs> now it's gone. Oh. Come over here with yours and see. Nothing. So yeah, I think this is full of it. Wait, how far down is yours detecting? Uh, max, which I think is 10 inches. There's nothing there, Colin. <laughs> Is it like detecting the tracker? <laughs> I think it's detecting this. I sat right here. Yes. Ice bird. It wasn't even. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What's right there? I don't know, but he'll believe it if it up. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Might be band wire. <laughs> do you have do you have still toes? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. What? Let's see that real fast. It's you. <laughs> oh, buttons. Do you have metal in your mouth? Showing junk screws and bottle caps. Titanium. <laughs> the titanium screw. Oh my <laughs> I think when we find it, it's gonna be on. Either that or it's on the tow truck, but we searched the tow truck Here, everywhere we possibly could. The bed, Look I looked in the tires, in the snow, like underneath the seats, in the like, I don't even know, interior of the ground. I ripped it up to see if anything had fallen in there. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm thinking we should go to the spot where I think that it's lost at. The only spot, so there was like four spots that I got out of the trekker, not out of the tow truck. I swear I had it coming up this hill filming the tires on Fred and the snow. No luck here, but we kind of figured that and didn't figure as much. It's a good testing area. Yeah. Why was that happening? I think the, either the manual fuel pump is getting weak or the filter is clogged, because I've never changed the fuel filter on this, so it might just be the filter getting clogged. I turn that switch on, it's electric fuel pump, and that forces more through it than what the manual can do. We found a note. <laughs> Animal capture device. Keep, Keep children and pets away. Pet owners take notice. Where? Up in here somewhere. Well, that's sketchy. probably right there. So that's probably like a. For trapping. Bear claw? Yep. 
the whole way up we've been talking about tracks and what kind of tracks are up here and what they look like. Hibbley knows all the tracks. That's cat tracks. Okay, as so we're just cruising along, snow's a little deeper, but it's nothing that's gonna stop the trekker. Are you um, doubting it? You have good faith? I'm doubting it. There's a lot of snow and a lot of area that we could possibly have lost. Well, I could have possibly lost the thumb. <laughs> Hill Billy? I'm not really doubting it. I mean, I kind of am. Part of me is, part of me isn't. And the reason I, part of me is, is because that's a very small needle in a very big haystack. And there's a lot of ground we have to cover in spots where she could have lost it. Grandpa's really doubting it. He told us good luck. I think there's a lot of people down there because before we left the shop, we had our snow gear on and everyone's like, what are you guys doing? We're like, we're gonna go out find Emery's phone. They're like, yeah, good luck. So we gotta find this phone. We have to. We should have bet grandpa a metal detector. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If we find it, we get to keep them. <laughs> yep. Donate it to the channel. One of them donated to the channel. The other one, I'm just stealing. He doesn't know it yet, but it's stolen. Yeah. Well, I'm still in the good one that's <laughs> So we're debating. Hillbilly says a kitty cat, house cat, like Mombi, has three front paws, pads. I'm saying four. And then a back, uh, a back dew claw. Okay, so the, the conversations we have when we're just cruising up, Hillbilly says a cat, a cat has three pads. So basically the top three and then the main pad at the bottom. And uh, my argument is there's four pads with four claws and then a dew claw. The so, guy, we had, so we had to Google it. The guy that's not a fan of cats is a cat lover. Is arguing with me, the cat lover. Can you guys count three or four? That's a deformed cat. And then I looked up, and then I looked up a mountain lion. You can see cougar. <laughs> Those are deformed cats. <laughs> In fact, I've had a cat before with two paws, eight toes on the front. Have you ever seen that? No, but I've seen dogs with three legs, two legs. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Yes. <laughs> so there's a tree right here on the side of the road that was closest to our track that I remembered. So, and then it just drops down. That was the sketchy area. So Demery got out, we drove down, and she followed us walking behind us. So I, we're thinking somewhere between here. And where the blazer was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been like right here, I feel like. Mm-hmm. You know, just doing a little metal detecting up in the, the snow. So that's what I'm worried about. See the distance with this one? So it's close, but nothing here. We're gonna have better luck with this one. Let's, we're gonna bury this phone and see if we can find it. Okay. So we'll find it. Got him. What do you got? She has some. <laughs> you got some. Did I pull up? Did I flip something? Yeah, cause she's picking up the air. <laughs> Oxygen. How fast? Wait a second. How fast can you go? Where's your metal? <laughs> fast. <laughs> no one's detected. Is the tree made out of metal? No, there's something there. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe it was having a spaz moment. Wait, try again. It keeps going wild right here. See what's right there. No, oh. break it away. Oh, oh, oh. No way. Oh my gosh. Yes, Holy you crap, and it's still on! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! And it's not cracked or broken. <laughs> we found it! Well, hopefully we found it. Yeah, yeah! Grandpa, you might or may not have lost your uh, metal detectors. I might keep them so I can go play this summer. Yeah, thank you, Grandpa. High five! Yeah, yeah! Guys, we found it! 
And it's still on! It still works! Told you we'd find it! <laughs> answer, answer. He's on the helicopter right now. Where was it? In that little hole. You can still see the print it's of it. It's on still! They found it. I hiked clear down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It feels so good. I have 37 phone calls and 43 messages, but I think the 37 phone calls were from us trying yeah, to find it. I think I called a million times. Yeah. That ex is a success. Yes. I am so happy. And Robbie is doubting that we'd ever even find it or even make it up here. We've done both. Wait till I can call him. Tell him to watch the video. <laughs> watch the video, find out if we found it or not. So uh, that old wise tell that cold's bad for batteries the iphone proved us wrong because it's still pretty charged for sitting out in the snow for three days and it gets below zero up here and at night time and it's still it's turned on when we found it so cold ain't that bad for batteries as people thinks so we have to give a big shout out to to Soro metal detectors because it's it done the job to find Demery's lost phone i don't know if grandpa's gonna get his back get him back because I quite enjoyed using it. It was my first time ever using it, and I, I a, very I, successful use. I think we need to have one on all our recovery vehicles yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to do a metal detecting episode. That'd be kind of fun. Video. Or not kind of, that would be awesome. See what we can find in 24 hours. Let's see how much snow there is. See how far the, how much snow the trekker can go in. That's it. I don't know if that's inches or centimeters though. I think that's inches. No, cause that ain't no 50 inches. Cause that's not five inches. So I think it's centimeters, 50 centimeters. How many centimeters are in an inch? Mountain lion, we come in peace. Do not eat us. We are not tasty. Run away. Or help us find the phone. <laughs> I'm very dizzy now. We have to do it to unwind. Get me out of here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're stuck. Oh, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. stuck. No, you're not. <laughs> no, we, we did. I swear we did. No, you didn't. We did. <laughs> Where was it? Hopefully found it. It was like right on no, the road. Did. Yeah, he did. But it would have been covered in snow. It yeah, was. so it was. I'm thinking like we were thinking Hillbilly's wheel when we were like going up was probably right on it. When I stopped to look for it on the hill, I think my rear wheel was parked on it. That's why I didn't see it or couldn't find it. Look at his face. Oh, I I haven't recorded it. Did you lose your service? He's in so uh, in so much shock he froze. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Now that we got everything loaded up, chains are off and loaded up, we get to return Grandpa one of his metal detectors because I'm still in the other we one. We lost the other one. We ganged the phone. We lost the metal detector. <laughs> okay, so we're coming to Grandpa to give back his metal detectors and to show him that we found the phone because he told us, tell Demery good luck and I hope she finds the phone sarcastic. He, and he had it in a sarcastic voice, but he's only going to get one metal detector back because I'm keeping the other one. It was a good luck charm down in Demery's phone. Do you remember how to use these? No. Have you ever used them? Yeah. How long ago? 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. He's lying. Okay. He's lying to you. Look Here's what we back. found. <laughs> That's why you only get this one back. I'm keeping the other one. I told the camera that I'm oh. going to steal it because it was a good luck one. It found it. This one did? No, no the, the other one, the other one the did. The other one did. That's the one I usually run with that one. I, just, I see why, it works really well. My kids and my wife used to run this one. Yeah, we found it, so thanks for letting us borrow. I, I was gonna tell you, I had my finger still crossed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I really said. <laughs> You'll never believe it. You found it? Wow. Does it still work? <laughs> yeah. Wow. And it's still on. Not even dead. What? what are we doing? Today we are taping, masking the snowcat so we can take it outside. 
We're masking it to spray it with bed liner, rubber liner stuff, so that way we can use it when needed. It can go outside, not get rust. I don't know if we're spraying that. I don't know if we're doing that, but we're gonna for sure mask it. We're gonna let the we're gonna have the boss spray it because she sprayed more than me and Colton has. So come on, jump up top, weld any of the holes that needs to be welded, and I'll jump down and help him mask it up. So, are we making the line straight? What are you talking about? It's straight. It is definitely <laughs> not straight. Straight like Bombay's roof. Straight as you can get with a round disc sanding. <laughs> so I'll just it's okay if the we can make mask a straight off, line and then if that off a straight line at the highest point. Where is the highest point? No, you would think the lowest point because if you go the highest, then there's a low, then there'll be bare metal. Yeah, yeah. but if you go to the so the uh, lowest point and then the black well, yeah, will cover I mean. up the brown. That's what I mean. The lowest point. Yeah, but you said highest. Like the highest of the paint oh. going up? Oh, okay. Or the lowest? Yeah, the lowest grounded. of the paint. We, we'll get this. Figure out this laser contraption to lay out our first line of tape. Robbie's going to be so proud. <laughs> now, I think you can adjust. How do we know if Bombie's level? <laughs> oh, that's not even level. That's, it was on lock. That was saying crooked. But that's level on... Right there, that's level up and down. Now, go up and down with this thing? Yeah, by pushing up. There's no way that's straight. That is not straight. Well, whis <laughs> Whiskers also sits like this. Well, maybe we can't use the level. Grab the jack, what? jack the back up so it sits. All we need to do is turn this line. We don't need it to be level. We just need to follow a line. That side needs to go down. So the line may not be um, level, but it's straight. That's wiper. wiper that's wiper. And then the mount. I on think the wiper. these were for the original brackets for the lights, but we got rid of that bracket and we're mounting the light directly to it. We don't. Well, I don't remember which hole it went to. So I'll just weld the holes that I know that need to be welded. First line of tape. Expertly installed. <laughs> I almost fell off the snowcat. Oh. Okay, we got the seat out of here. We didn't want hillbillies welding and it's throwing sparks, so we're gonna the seat out. We got welding blankets, we're gonna throw over everything because we wouldn't want to melt anything or start this thing on fire. We'd all be fired. I don't know if I can be fired. Dude, it's on fire in here. Where? Right here. Hurry, it's on get fire? It. Yeah, see like right where? up in there. Oh, yeah. That's like really super close to the Yes, the wood paneling in that. The wood. Mm -hmm. How many more holes is there to do? On this side? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. At least five, but they're small enough that the rubber stuff will seal it up. You sure about that? I sure about that. You sure about that? Okay, keep watching. I'm gonna go back to the front holes where there's no wood paneling so we don't have no fires. Hold on, it's going, it's going like through the blanket into the motor and stuff. Whoa! Oh yeah. Yeah, that one would have been bad if it had the blankets. Okay. You use like a pair of pliers or something, push against the roof and I'll just z z z z z z z out here. Because we don't want fires and the boss is already getting just kind of freaked out, mad about it. I'm not mad. I am just concerned for my safety and his. And he is not concerned at all. Preventative safety. We're being safe ahead of time before it's too late. Now that I got all the holes welded, I'm just grinding down the weld so it's flat up here. Hillbilly wanted me to go get a little piece of metal, so I cut a little square. We need a round one. No, we don't. It's square. It'll be perfect. Okay. Ready? No. Ready? Yeah. Tell me when you're golden. That's all of them. Yeah, the rest of them have rubber silicone in it from last year, so they're still plugged. I need to go this way a little. Well, I don't know. You get it where you want it and then. How straight do you think this is going to be? I don't know, but this one's got to go down here. It's not going to be straight at all. <laughs> I don't mean. <laughs> About as straight as the cut or the grind mark. It'll be better than what it was because there won't be no leaky roof. 
So let's get this back one. How long are you going? You got the tail end it. of it. You got the roll. You could stop. Are you the one that pulled it? Yeah, you're the brake. Then it would rip. So Hillbilly's just grabbing the masking paper cart? Yes, I am. Whoa. It's just going through on the inside, taping the holes up from the inside. These are for the wiper motors. So we're gonna make sure those are good. Those are good. I don't quite know what I'm doing, but I do know that we gotta put plastic on. Why do I have a feeling that Robbie ain't gonna approve of our wrapping job? Uh, well, we talked to Cody. Cody told us how to do it. So maybe we'll have to ask Cody if we did it right before we even think about doing anything else. Okay, okay. I think that's it. <laughs> Don't we gotta go? Yeah, but do we want a whole big piece of one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Only one seemed to tape. Well, how would you do it? I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I. Would run it along, and then as long as it is, cut it, and then we'll unravel what we need all the way down to the, either the bottom of the track, or we can even roll it. I like the idea of clear around. Okay. Less, <laughs> less seems to tape up. That should be good. Well, oh, don't. Put a piece of tape right here. We actually have absolutely no idea what we're doing. No, we just hope Robbie's impressed with our <laughs> abilities. We just may have messed up. Me? No, never mind, we didn't. <sighs> Maybe this tie should have been up here. Now we're gonna start putting the masking paper up here. This is what Cody told us to do. Just go along, masking away. Well, mirror's making life very difficult. It's throwing everything off, so I'm getting rid of it. I hope Robbie was getting ready to spray it, because if not, he better be getting ready to spray it. It's all masked. So I'm saying I'm not painting that that snow cap or spraying it. So we're gonna go look at the limo. We're gonna try and see if we can maybe help the limo out a little. Maybe all the snow melted. Maybe. It's got a. Do you think this has enough pressure? A leaf floor or what? That we can build a snowball, stick it in there, and go boom. No. Try it. You don't think I do it, Colton? Here, I'll try it. Hold it. Definitely do <laughs> dust. Okay, ready? I'm gonna hit the trigger right now. <laughs> You're recording yourself. Ready? Now. No. Okay, try it. <laughs> Here. Oh. Disappointing. Very disappointing. <laughs> Do you think it will start? No. Why? Because the battery's dead. But <laughs> you. Well, look at that snow in there. Should we start her? Gotta go grab a jump box. <laughs> See if it starts. I feel like we're gonna have to take this inside to. Uh... Nothing. Nothing. Plug it in, plug it in. Hooking up the jump pack. Got it hooked up. Showing only 1.6% battery. 94.8. Hard marks. Oh. So the worst thing about the Lamo being ripped apart during winter is I was so excited to take this thing and see how good it do in the snow. So now Hillbilly and Colton are gonna take it for a drive. It's too cold without all the doors and sides on it. Keep my butt dry. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. But I do want to get it all dried up and make sure we have a tarp so that what damage is done is only that damage and not a bunch more. Oh my gosh. Let's do this again. Oh my God. What if there's something under there? What if, any, what if there's something under there that you just hit? A big on. What? It. What's he doing?
I think you've had your fun. Yep, now let's take back to the shop and figure out what we need to do next. To get it covered. And get it covered. I think that was the first time the Lamo has ever done a complete Brody. And drift. <laughs> Some of you may remember this plastic from the video building the Lamo into the mobile swimming pool. This plastic is what's going to protect the Lamo for the rest of this winter. Whoa, whoa, that is the end of the roll. One, two, three. This is perfect. Now let's just hope the hooks are perfect, the straps are perfect. Are you going under or over? Over. I don't see it. Now I see it. And this is how you secure a tarp down on the Lamo. Okay. The Lamo is now covered and ready for the rest of this winter. 